Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're going to uh, start on a little project of mine that I had in the works, and I thought I'd make a fun little video series. So, what I did is I bought a cheap piece of shit guitar that I think, you know, looks pretty cool. Um, I thought it was cool anyway. And uh, one of the things that attracted me to it was it has a 24-inch scale length, which I don't have anything in that size here in the studio. Uh, so I thought, hey, it might be just, you know, A, fun to play on, and B, uh, any kids or whatnot that might have small hands that want to come in the studio might need something a little easier to play, whatever. It might come in handy for a lot of different reasons, whatever. Maybe it was just to cure an itch to buy another piece of gear. It happens, you know. So I picked up this Squire uh, Supersonic 350, brand new, right? Thought it was pretty cool looking. Much as I had suspected uh, with the $350 guitar, and especially with the 24 inch scale length, which was new to me. This thing goes out of tune pretty much every fourth chord. Yeah, which if I'm being honest, I completely expected, as I'm sure all of you would on a $350 guitar. So I was gonna start this with maybe playing it a little bit and showing you how it doesn't stay in tune, but you all know that these crappy cheap guitars don't stay in tune when you buy them, you gotta do something. Right? You play it a little bit till you can't stand it anymore, you get something better. Or you upgrade it, which is what we're going to do here. So tuning stability is issue number one. Okay, So four chords is not enough to play a song. It's not even enough to play a riff. Well, maybe a riff, but yeah. Job numero uno, we're going to change the tuners. And then we're going to change the tremolo unit on the back of the thing in my bob. So we have some cool tuners and a tremolo unit to put on it. Uh, also, we got a tone claw, which is an interesting new uh, spring claw for the trem that's got some mass to it and actually locks onto the springs. First, we're going to do the tuners. The tuners I really like. I, I buy these same tuners all the time to put on all my guitars. They keep awesome tune. They look tremendous, and yeah, I, I got nothing but good things to say about them. And they come in, I think, around the $70 price point. It would be the Hip Shot Open Gear Locking Tuners. And I really like the open gears on these. They give them a really cool vintage look, uh, but they're still a modern, um, smooth ratio locking tuner that you can count on. Uh, it's a high-end tuner for sure. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dive in to this box of tuners. So, let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. All right, we got hardware. We'll put that right here in the magnetic tray so I don't lose shit like I always do. And, ha, 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 the secret ingredient. We will get to that in a minute. All right. Tuning stability starts here. Well, that's absolutely correct. So, and here are our tuners. Now, this particular set of tuners, you can see there's numbers written here in the box. They're a staggered set. Now, they're meant for fender headstocks. Um, they have a varying height on the posts so that you can hopefully uh, get away from using the string trees. We'll have to see if that works out in this case. I may have to put new string trees on, but I'm hoping I won't need them. Let's get our tuners out here. Here we have some 19s. And some 20s. And some 21s. Okay. So, 19, 20, 21. I did that for myself, not for you, because I'm totally gonna forget, put the wrong ones on in the wrong order. Let's get started. First thing we gotta do is take off these old crappy tuners. You want to do this very lightly. You don't want to whack on these really hard to get them out. Just tap, tap, tap. They'll come out. 
there you have it. Now we have the old tuners out and it's just a matter of putting the new ones in. Now, you'll notice this kit came with these plates. Well, what in the hell are these plates for, you might ask? So these plates allow you to put these tuners on the guitar without having to screw them in to the back. There's a little channel on here that locks the body of the tuner into the channel so it cannot move and rotate. Another cool attribute of this is the fact that it helps tuning stability. And who doesn't want more tuning stability in their life? Turns out these holes are not large enough, so we're gonna have to drill them out. So That's what she said. Oh no. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, you wanna tape off the holes so that you don't wreck any finish while you're drilling. It's a matter of putting in the tuners. What we want to do is we want to start with our plate. Taller tuners at the rear. Shorter tuners at the front. Now you want to make sure all of those bodies are lined up with the tabs on these lights, like so. Now we add our washers. Just want to tighten them up real quick. I like to use a socket on an extension and just crank them tight by hand. Just double check we're still lined up here. Yep, everything is as it should be. And you can see, if you're looking at this, how the height of the tuners go down as you go along. Now that's the staggered portion of the tuner there. So I might be getting ahead of myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these string trees off because I'm really hoping I'm not gonna need them. Now we have tuners. Half of our stability issues are now gonna be covered. But this crappy trim has got to go. It can't hold a tune to save its ass. So uh, what we got for you, uh, well, really what I got for myself. <laughs> what we've got for you is the Vega trim. It's a trim that'll go into a strat pocket and uh, it doesn't have the base plate like a normal traditional trem will. So you can actually pull it back so you get more of a floating feel out of it. Uh, eager to try this out. It looks really appealing. First thing we gotta do, take the old shit off. Let's get into that. Start with taking these springs off here. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and cut this ground wire here. Take these screws out, holding the bridge down on the front. All right, here we go. Out with the old and in with the new. So what we're putting in today is the Vegatrum. Pretty cool setup. You can see here it uh, comes with several different strengths of springs. Why don't we get to 
putting it in this cheap guitar. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Instructions. <laughs> First thing you do with those. Nice arm. Collar style, like that. Graphite. Lubricant of some sort. There's our trim. Nice looking unit. You can see on this baby here, a little set screws in the back for adjusting intonation. And then once you've got it where you need it, you can pinch it tight with these top screws, lock it into position. Very cool. It even has set screws in the back here so that you can lock the spring to the trim unit as well. Pivot, yep, pivot block. Now on this, you've got a couple of little knife edge indents on the edges here that the trim rides on. Sets right into those and pivots. So let's uh, start with that. Now, the next thing we're gonna to need to do is install the tone claw. It's a nice, big, thick, heavy duty spring claw. Uh, it also locks the springs in. Comes with some new screws and a set of four springs. I don't think I'm gonna need those, but that's nice anyways. Now on the back of this tone claw, you can see here, it has a little tab here for your ground cable. Now, uh, I'm gonna need to uh, solder that on. Attach that to our new trim claw here. Now we'll mount the uh, claw on the body here. Get our springs in. I'm going with the medium gauge to start with. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this unit in the guitar and see where we're at. Now we're gonna just right in the front hole here, lead it in there. You know, wanna line up these knife edges on this pivot bar. Now we just lock these in the tone claw, like so. Okay, now when we screw these in, the natural bevel on the screws will actually pinch that claw shut and lock it. So you don't have to push it forward. So we're gonna quick throw on some strings. I have some strings underneath all the shit somewhere. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try tuning her up here. Now I can throw our bar on here. Wow, that's cool, full dive bomb. Man, to be able to pull back. So that'll be the end of this episode. If you've tried these hip shot tuners of this Vega Trim, please drop a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of them. We're gonna run this one through its paces and we'll do a follow-up episode on how it performed. And also, yes, also, 
we're going to be doing an episode for all you guitarists and bass players out there. How to set your intonation and string height. Two skills every guitarist should have in their toolbox. And with that, I'm Gifrock. You're you, hopefully. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Like, comment, subscribe!